morning guys it is whew, I'm not an early bird but it is 5 20 a.m. typically I'd be asleep for another seven hours <laughs> uh, but today we got something good we're gonna smoke a pork butt and it's gonna take a long time so yeah, going. let's go All right, I got a 10 pound pork butt. So I got my smoker already ready to go. Let's start off here. I got some, basically it's pork rub. It's the same thing as sweet and smoky rub, really. I mean, I think the only difference is that it's like, uh, there's like apple cider vinegar in here. That's basically the only thing that's different than the uh, sweet and smoky rub, which I also am gonna use. So you wanna make sure that you give it a nice, heavy coat of this stuff. So you want to rub it all the way in. And during our smoking process, we're also going to do this, but not as heavy, obviously, because a lot of it's already going to be on there. And I'm going to flip it over as well and get the fat side. Two hands, maybe one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to get this fat side as well. Let's bank that piggy's butt. I'll just do some sweet smoky rub. Get the sides. Basically, try to coat the whole thing. And then some of that excess rub that fell off, we'll just kind of swirl it around the sides here. And then pick it up. Beautiful. And I got some dark brown sugar. This is good. It helps, like, kind of candy coat it. Um, gives it a nice uh, finish. Just want to. Kind of pack it in there, rub it a little bit if you want. Same thing on the fat side. Man, 10 pounds doesn't really seem like a lot, but it is. Trust me. I have some organic apple juice here. This is going to be used for like every hour you go out there and you just give it a nice good spray. There it goes. Uh, you want to do that every hour to keep your meat moist and it's just, it's highly critical in the smoking process. Well, I'm going to get this thing on there, and I'm going to take a nap for an hour. Alright, let's put this baby on. So it's about 6.30 in the morning now. It's been an hour since this beast has been on. So we're going to take our organic apple juice and just give it a spray. Nice and moist, guys. Another hour from now, we're gonna do the same thing. Good morning once again. This beast has been on there for about six hours now. It is 11.45 in the morning. I got some French's yellow mustard here. Uh, just wanna cover it up all over. This'll help seal the coating in. And mustard's got a great flavor, <clears throat> especially when it has been smoked. I have pork rub and the sweet and smoky rub that we did earlier. So let's get it on this side. <laughs> you hear that? He's oinking. <laughs> Mustard will help the second layer of the marinade, sorry, excuse me, the dry rub, it'll help it kind of coat on together. So that's beautiful. Alright, so we're gonna put it back now and I'm gonna put it fat side up this time. Stick our thermometer in there, make sure things are going good. Yeah, this puppy's got a long way to go. It's at 120 right now. Uh, once it hits like 160, we're gonna take it off, 
wrap it in foil and then wait till it gets to an internal temperature of 190 and then that should be it. So probably tonight at some point. So with the type of wood pellets that I'm using, um, I'm doing like the first like uh, six to eight hours of apple wood pellets and then I'm going to finish off the last half of it with some mesquite wood pellets. Okay guys, the temperature reached around 158, so I'm going to pull this thing off and I'm going to put it in here, go inside, and I'm going to foil it up. Before we foil it, I got some more dark brown sugar here. Just want to coat a little bit more onto there. Oh yeah, this thing is looking amazing. It's got nice barky kind of texture to it. It's super tender. I took the thermometer probe and just poked it straight through the middle, and it just it's like a knife through butter. It was amazing. So that's a really really good sign. I'm gonna hit it with some of this organic apple juice to keep all the moistures inside. Beautiful. All right, gotta wash my hand real quick and then I'll boil it up. So it's been about a long 12 hours and uh, I still haven't really slept yet. I've been babysitting this thing, making sure that everything's going right. What I have right here is just some of that yellow French's mustard that I used earlier and some um, hickory uh, Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. So I mixed it up, I'm gonna open it. I already kind of unfoiled just the top here and we're just gonna do a nice little glaze over the fat cat. Oh, look at that. It's already just kind of pulling apart. Oh, here, I'm just going to give it a little pour. Oh, yeah. Look at that bark right here, guys. Look at that bounce back. Woo! I gotta, it's so tender, i got to be careful just painting this on. I feel like it's just going to pull right apart, just like it's supposed to. So, yeah, we'll just kind of let it kind of paint down. That way it can drip on down into the juices there and kind of marinate on the other side as well. And we're going to just spritz on a little more of our apple juice. And just kind of close up your foil again a little bit. At least it doesn't have to be fully closed. Alright guys, we'll come back to you in a little bit. So it's been on for 13 hours in total now. Uh, what I did towards the end process is I, uh, I cranked up my heat uh, to about 350. If you don't have a built-in barbecue and a smoker, then you can just like take it off after 13 hours. And I did that for 10 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did that for 10 minutes to um, basically solidify the uh, marinade that we had put on earlier, the barbecue sauce and the French's yellow mustard. Uh, so now it's got a nice glaze over the top here. Oh, it's tender. Get this under there. It's a struggle. Should have bought gloves. Yeah. My neighbors are jealous. It's been like 13 hours and the they're like peeking their heads over the fence and like they can totally smell it. The whole block can smell this. This is incredible, guys. So we're gonna let this rest for like an hour and then we'll come back to you guys. So here we are, 14 hours later. Everything is finally done. The initial test is to see if your pulled pork pulls apart with two forks easily. Let's see if that happens here. Oh yeah. It's happening right now. I barely had to even pull. Like, oh my god, look at this. It's pulling apart so good right now. You hear that juiciness? Oh my 
God, this side right here is just like butter. Look at that. It's insane. Okay, let's see. I want to see the bone. Where are you at? Okay, so here's the bone here on this side. Oh, wow, yeah. It's still pretty hot in there. Oh yeah, look at the meat just pulling right off of that. Oh my god, look at that guys, that is awesome. I like to start with just a little bit of like mayo on my pulled pork sandwich. Uh, you can also do like a coleslaw I have some pickle strips and some onion strips. I know you know a lot about this by now. It's just basically the hickory uh, Jack Daniels barbecue sauce and the French's yellow mustard blend. Look at that pork, it just falls apart like, so easily. I want to try it so bad, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for everything. Typically, you like pull it all apart in the pan and then you can serve your pulled pork, but it's just me, so I'm just doing it my way right now. I got an idea. I'm going to take some of the fat from the bottom and just kind of give it a little dunk. Get some of that apple juice in there as well. Oh man, look how tender this is. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm freaking out over here. This is insane. Alright, I think we got enough pulled pork here for a good sized sandwich. Go ahead and layer on the onion. Best way I can. I'm so jittery right now because of how excited I am to eat this thing. Just throw it on, I don't even care. Pickle strips. And then, the finishing touch is just to slop on your Carolina barbecue mustard blend. Just kind of get it a little on there. Shake it around. Yeah, make a mess, this is great. So it's all set up, finally. Let's give it a try. Boop. <laughs> all right. Flip it around. Whew, here we go. Yeah. Totally worth 14 hours. Oh my God. It's sweet, smoky. Definitely sweet and smoky. Yeah, there's no other way to describe it. Super juicy, tender, just falls apart right in your mouth. Oh my God. I know that there are many steps to this process, but I have faith in you guys, you can do this. Hey you, you want some of this? Come here buddy. Come on, nice piece of fat for you. Come on, get it. Yeah, ah, my finger. Anyways, yeah lot of steps in this process, but I have faith in you guys. You guys can do this. You gotta do this. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, just a quick bonus tip real fast. Um, if you have a large quantity of pork and you want to like freeze it and save it for later, and you want to prevent it from like drying out, here's a good tip. And also with flavors. So a little bit of your pork rub, just do it again, just a little bit. Little bit, little bit. <laughs> this is like practically almost empty. Um, so I wanna take my uh, organic uh, apple juice and kind of just pour some of it into there. Put the cap back on it. That way it'll get rid of all the excess barbecue sauce left and you won't waste anything. All right. Getting all saucy and shit, but I don't care. All right, Francis yellow mustard. Go with just a little more apple juice just to keep it moist. That's good. Okay, and then you just kind of mix it up. That's a good way to keep your flavor and your moisture if you want to give it a freeze and you know pull it out for another day. Thanks, guys. <laughs>